Embroider plushy towels. Ooh, plushy. Yes, this video I'm going to show you how I embroider them. I don't know if there's other ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. So, yeah, I really hope you come along with me. It's kind of like a tutorial. Yeah. The only stabilizers you're going to need is a water soluble. And I have it in a bag because if you don't have it in a bag, it can, if there's humidity in your environment, it literally can disappear on you. And this stuff is kind of expensive. So when the embroidery machine starts stitching on the plushiness of the towel, sometimes if you don't have a water soluble on top, it literally can embroider inside the fibers and you don't see the embroidery, which defeats the whole purpose. So this makes sure that the embroidery is on top and then it dissolves with water and uh, all the embroidery is on top of the fiber and doesn't get stuck into the wovenness of the plushy towel. After you use it, you put water on top of it and it just dissolves. It's great. It's the best thing ever. So if you're gonna do a towel, I recommend tearaway stabilizer. So you need a water soluble and a tearaway stabilizer. I love this stabilizer because it just tears. It's real thin. I don't know, it tears beautifully kind of to the line of the stitch. And the reason you want to do that is you don't want to have to cut it out and have a thick piece of stabilizer in the back of the towel. And honestly, if you're ever going to do embroidery, they're going to try to sell you everything that they can because this is expensive stuff. I recommend you get a cutaway, a tearaway, a water soluble, and that's all I recommend if you're starting. And down the line, I recommend that you get a sticky stabilizer if you're ever going to do bags or hats. My client came to me and asked me to embroider these towels for, I believe it's Clemens swim team. They're going to stay, yes. <laughs> so I wanted to digitize it while they were in front of me. I have a Bernina Artista embroidery digital program software, and I love that program. I've used it since I started embroidery. It's a bit pricey, but it's my favorite program. I cut two layers of stabilizer. One of the reasons I use a little bit more stabilizer is because you don't want when they wash the towels for the lettering to contract within itself and not stay firm. And a lot of times people embroider where the real thin layer or even without stabilizer and the lettering kind of looks like it shrinks, shrinks in. Layering your stabilizer and thickening it a bit, even though you're gonna tear this off, really does help stabilize the lettering and keeping your embroidery design straight. I only use two because it's only lettering. If it would have been a logo or something thicker with more um, embroidery on it, I probably would have thickened it up to four or up to three, depending on the logo. So more dense embroidery, more stabilizer or a thicker, heavier weight stabilizer. And they do have heavier weight stabilizers for tear away, okay? And I buy stabilizer in rolls. Madeira thread is my favorite thread. Um, I also like Robinson Anton are my favorite embroidery threads and you can buy them at All Stitch. Sorry, I forgot to say where I got them. Allstitch.com. I save all my scrap stabilizer, even in my water soluble and or I'll save it. And what I'll do with it is I'll trim it down, hoop this on the inside and have a clean sheet on the outside. And what that will do is this is my second layer now, maybe even a third layer. So I'll reuse this and I'll literally use it till I have just slivers of it. I have a grid that shows me the exact placement of where the center is. I love this grid that Brother and Baby Lock have done. 
it's the easiest way to find placement on your item and then find placement on your machine. The grid sits exactly where you want and also too, you can line up the lines like this had lines, line up the lines to the grid so that you know that your item is straight. Be careful when you tear away. You can literally tear this, the letters off the towel. I've done it before. It's the worst thing. And then I tear so that I can save as much as a stabilizer. And then what I do is I reuse it this way. This is what the back looks like when you take as much as the um, stabilizer off. I try to make it look as clean as I possibly can. Just has to be damp. I just finished all the towels. I thank God I had both machines working. I didn't turn it off on purpose and guess what? Now if I turn it off, it turns, it, it works like nothing's wrong. Uh. <laughs> um, but yes, I finished this job about, I could, it was, it takes 23 minutes to do each towel. So I could more or less do three towels in give or take an hour and with both machines. Um, it, if I only had one machine to take two hours with both machines, it only took an hour and some change, maybe an hour and 25 minutes, let's give or take. What's really neat about working for clients or even working for like school teams and stuff is like you're a part of it. It's kind of neat. I'm not swimming out there or doing the work, but they're wrapping themselves in a towel that I had in my hands. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.